My name is Yuichi and my, I'm a 27 year old who's never had a girlfriend in his life. I wonder if I should sign up for some kind of matchmaking site. I was walking home from work on a Friday night because I had nothing better to do, feeling lonely. I wonder how amazing it would be if a cute girlfriend was waiting for me back at home. I was thinking about it the whole time when I suddenly noticed that a woman was on the side of the road, not able to stand up. And I immediately ran towards her. Uh, Are you okay? Sorry. Huh? Hey! Hang on. I'm calling an ambulance now. I immediately called 911 and told them that I had just talked to a woman who was on the side of the road when she suddenly became unconscious. Is she breathing? Y yes, it seems like she's breathing. Can you check if she has a heartbeat? Yeah, uh, I think her pulse seems pretty normal. An ambulance is on the way, so please just wait here and hang tight for us. We're going to check the condition of the patient now. Excuse me, sir. I need to know what kind of situation you found the patient in, so would it be alright if you take a ride with us to the hospital? Huh? You want me to go with you guys? I just called the ambulance, so I don't think I need to ride with him, but... That was my initial thought, but... Okay, I'll go. I was worried about the woman, so I decided that I would follow them to the hospital. Excuse me, sir. Are you the one that rode to the hospital with the woman that was just carried into the ER moments ago? Yes, I was the one that called 911. Okay, the patient is awake now and is currently receiving IV treatment. She was hoping to see you and say her thanks. What would you like to do? Um, I guess I'll go say hey and head out. Excuse me. Oh, are you the man that called the ambulance for me? Yes, are you feeling okay now? I'm sorry for all the trouble. Um, can you tell me why you collapsed to begin with? The doctors told me that I had malnutrition and overworked myself. Basically, I stressed myself out and my body couldn't take it anymore. Huh? Does she work at some kind of sketchy business or something? Yeah, I see. Okay, well, take care of yourself. Excuse me. W wait, hang on! Huh? My name is Ai Kashiwagi. I'm a streamer on Locked Your Live. I'm a streamer. I want to thank you for saving me, so would it be alright if I get your name and contact information? You really don't have to worry about it. I insist. Can you please give me your phone number? I'm begging you. Ah, I can already tell by her attitude that she's not willing to take no for an answer. My name is Yuichi Manabe. I guess I want to know how you're doing too, so let me know when you're able to leave the hospital then. Yes, I promise I'll reach out to you. Kashiwagi-san said she was a streamer on Locked Your Life. I guess that means that she streams there and makes a living off that, right? I had seen people streaming on YouTube before, but I've never actually seen a streamer on a streaming app before. I guess if I search Ai Kashiwagi up on Locked Your Life, I should be able to find her. I was shocked after I searched for her. Huh? She has over a million subs? Kashiwagi-san turned out to be a super popular and top streamer on Locked Your Live. 
I did a little research and found out that the top streamers on Locked Alive made anywhere from 100k to a mil a year. No freaking way. She is so stinking beautiful. The profile picture was Kashiwagi-san, but she looked kind of fragile and didn't look very lively at all. I wonder what happened to her. The next morning. Hmm. Who was texting me this early in the morning? I checked my phone and saw that it was 10 a.m. It wasn't early at all. Ah, it's from Kashiwagi-san. It's Kashiwagi. Thank you for helping me out yesterday. The results of my test were all normal, so I was able to leave the hospital. I would like to come over to your house to give you my thanks, and so can you give me your address, please? Huh? She wants to come over to my house now? No, 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 I can't. You really don't have to... Send. That night. Maybe I should have taken her up on her offer. I shouldn't have turned down a beautiful woman like that. Um, I'm sorry, but I just have to thank you or I don't feel right. Is that okay? She must be someone who really cares about manners. It's probably a little rude of me to say no when she's being this insistent. Okay. Would you like to meet somewhere then? Send. Well... I actually thought that maybe I'd run into you again if I went to where I had collapsed last night, so I headed there. Huh? I ran over to the window. I could see the location that I found her collapsed at from there. She's there! Kashiwagi-san! You just got out of the hospital! Please don't push yourself like that- I couldn't finish my sentence before I choked up. To my surprise, she was wearing a school uniform. Huh? You're in high school sc no, I'm actually 20 years old. There's a good reason for this uniform, though. She's 20 years old, but wearing a high school girl's uniform? What reason could she possibly have? Uh, um, I bought you some cake, so if you'd like it. Um, thank you. You really didn't have to. I shouldn't just turn her away after she came this far. My house is right over there, but um, would you like to come over and have some tea or something? I mean, I didn't want to eat this cake all on my own, you know. I was trying not to come off as a creep, but I'm pretty sure I screwed that up. Huh? Uh, really? I'd love to go over. Come on in. Thank you for having me. What is going on now? It's such a lovely looking house. So comfortable and homey. Thank you. She says that, but why should be living in some kind of mansion or something? Oh, you can answer that if you want. I don't mind. Don't worry about it. Um, is everything alright? <laughs> yes. Alright, I'll go get some tea for us then. Uh, Manabe-san. Yes? I turned around and she immediately grabbed my hand before pushing it onto her chest. Touch me. Huh? Wait, is this her thank you? No way! Can you feel my heartbeat in your hands? It's the first time I've ever been this nervous in my life. She's so soft. 
When I collapsed, I didn't see your face, but I felt so relieved to hear your kind voice. When you came into my hospital room, I felt that you were the man of my dreams. I just immediately fell for you. Huh? So, would it be alright if I live here with you from now on? I will do anything for you, Manabe-san! Isn't it a little sudden to live together? I don't have any regrets about leaving that house. But what about your job? I'll quit my job! But you're a live streamer who's got over a million subs, right? You've got so many fans. Are you sure you can just quit so easily? Huh? You know about me? No, no. It's not like I knew about you from before, but... When you told me that you were a streamer on Locked Your Live, I got curious, so I looked you up and found out that you were some kind of huge popular streamer. I was surprised. I do have a lot of subscribers. You must be living a fulfilling life to be able to do what you like and make a living off of it, right? When I first started streaming, maybe I did think that's how things would be. Does this all have something to do with why you collapsed in the first place? Yes. I became a live streamer about two years ago. Huh? You can make money by just chatting? That sounds fun! I did it as kind of a joke, but I gained plenty of followers in the blink of an eye. Three months later... Huh? A DM? It was a suggestion from a talent agency that was asking if I would be interested in working with them. They said that I would be making much more money if I did so. So, that would mean that I don't have to find a job and work? I didn't think much about it before signing a contract to work with them. Hey guys! Thank you for coming to Love Eyes Room! After becoming a talented live streamer, my sub count skyrocketed. However... I, you're ten minutes later! And you streamed five minutes shorter than you were supposed to stream, too! The agency wanted me to stream at least three hours every single day. That was their quota. But then I won't be able to hang out with friends or have a boyfriend! Our agency doesn't allow any kind of romance. You do anything like that and you're going to drop in your standings. You want to be a top streamer, right? What was the point of me streaming in the first place? Uh, okay. I didn't make more money, but they continued to raise their expectations. Not only could I not see my friends, I could barely even leave the house. Of course, I never dared talk to any of my friends during my live streams. Hey guys, welcome to Love Eyes Room. You guys make sure to toss all your love my way. People started to talk about how I look when I was streaming, and I slowly but surely became depressed. Your eyes are pretty glazed over there, ma'am. She just keeps begging for money. She just wants our money. Um, let's see. What did you want to talk about today? I... I can't. My brain... I'm drawing a blank! If you can't do anything interesting, then do something else to keep us entertained. Dude, seriously? What did you want me to do? Be sexy, duh. Come on, Aichan. You want our money, right? Work for it. Sorry, guys. I'm going to be stopping the stream for today. I can't... I can't anymore. 
When I came around, I had left the house and wandered around for a little while. I ran out of energy both physically and mentally before I collapsed. I see. I just wanted anyone to help me. I'm not lying when I say that, but... I was only able to fall in love because I fell in love with you, Manabe-san. What the... I opened the door with my chain lock still on it and saw a man that I'd never seen before. Kashiwagi's over there, right? Bring Ai out now! Who are you? I'm Ai's manager for her talent agency. She is not fulfilling her quota that she signed up for. She is not listening to the viewer's requests. I... I can't change out of my clothes in a uniform. I'm going to quit live streaming. You little shit. That goes against our contract, you little brat. If you terminate our contract midway through, you're going to have to deal with all of the severance. He's like Yakuza or something. As far as the contract goes, she has already spoken to her lawyer, so if you have something to say, please go through him. Huh? Don't be bluffing like that. I'm not bluffing. Here's our office, and if you continue to threaten her like this, we'll be suing you for assault and blackmailing. Damn it, you little shit. Do you regret this? Uh, um... Hang on one second. I gotta make a call. Uh, okay. Oh, hello? Sorry to bother you. I know you're really busy, but... Would it be alright if you take on a case for me? Yeah, I would appreciate it. Sorry to keep you waiting. Our top-of-the-line lawyers will handle your case so that you can terminate your contract without any worry, so please, don't be afraid. Uh, um, who are you? I'm actually an assistant at a paralegal office at the moment. I see. I swear to you that we will protect you. I knew it. I love you, Manabe-san! The people from your office might come over to your house to talk to you, so you should stay here until things calm down. Yay! We're going to live together! Not live together. More like protective custody. I see. But I'd be happy if we could get to know each other slowly and get closer, so let's get along, huh? Yes, please. You said that you signed an exclusive contract. Were there any actual contracts being signed in exchange between you and the talent agency? I had a contract sent to me over text. Text, huh? How very modern. Depending on how they act, it may be possible that they won't want to settle. They may take it to court. Uh, court? That's so cool! Are you going to be fighting in court too? I'm going to be in the courtroom, but I'm going to be our lawyer's assistant, gathering all of the necessary documents for him and doing the background research necessary. That's still so badass! Please do not engage in any kind of direct contact with your Lotra Live talent agency. Um, I don't want to have anything to do with the agency, but... What is it? There were people in my chat that cheered for me from the bottom of their heart, so... I was really hoping to apologize to them directly. Were you doing anything other than launch your live? Yes, I actually uploaded all kinds of things on my social media to advertise my live streams. Then please post a letter of apology on those social media platforms. Okay. Kashiwagi-san announced that she was done with broadcasting on Locked Your Live through her social media pages. The agency hadn't come to terms with it, however, so it became clear that the two parties were in an argument. 
It actually was on the news. The agency wouldn't give in at all, so all bets were off. They went to court and today was the day that the courts would give their ruling. The Lotra Life Talent Agency expected and demanded unrealistic expectations against the defendant. Based on the fact that the agency also attempted to force the defendant to change out of her school uniform outfit on stream. This led to the Lotra Live Talent Agency's corruption and the court ruled that I did have to pay some fees for breaching the contract, but the agency was ordered to pay Kashiwagi-san a much more significant amount of money. She was finally freed from her shackles. We finally solved the problem. Great work, Kashiwagi-san. I think if I didn't run into you, then I very well may not be around anymore. Thank you for saving my life. I actually was excited to go back to my house thanks to you being around when I came home, Aisan. I had so much fun together. Uh, um, are we done with the protective custody? Yes, we were. Uh, oh. So, this time, will you live with me with marriage in mind? Yes, please! I love you, Yuichi-san! I love you too. Hello! Thank you so much for watching! I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. See you all next time. Bye-bye.